Hey guys, so today we're going to continue with the practical SQL book. We're going to solve exercises from chapter 6. Uh, as always, make sure to have followed the chapter and executed the scripts provided uh, with the book because we will need the table uh, US counties 2000 to do the exercises. Okay, so make sure to follow, uh, to follow up with the book. Okay, so uh, in the first exercise we need to use the table US counties 2010 uh, and the US counties 2000. The first one has 3143 rows and the second one 3141. So there were some adjustments at county level geographies. We will need to find uh, the counties that didn't exist in both tables. Okay. Before we get started, so we don't have to write all the code on our own, we can use the query that was provided in the book. So the book had the join query between these two tables, and I'm going to get that and uh, modify it to solve the exercise. So I have it here. I'm just going to grab it and then paste it here. Okay, so what this, uh, um, so what this join did, it joined the two tables and computed the percentage change in population. But we don't need that part. I'm going to remove all of that, and I am going to remove the population. I'm just going to select the names for both counties, and. Well, I am going. We're going to rename the tables for 2010. I'm going to call it C 2010, like in the uh, book query, and C 2000 for uh, U.S. counties 2000. Okay, but in uh, the example, they did an inner join. In our case, we want to find counties that don't exist in both tables. So we want to get uh, we want to get rows. Uh, that are in table in the first table, but not in the second one. But also rows that are uh, in the ta in the second table, but not in the first one. So we need to perform an outer join. Okay, so we need to perform perform an outer join between U.S. counties 2010 and U.S. counties 2000, and we rename them. Now, since we're getting uh, an outer join, and we will. Uh, we also want to have, since we will have some counties that are not in the first table, we also want to get the um, we also want to get the geo name in the U.S. counties 2000. So I am going to copy this too, and now I get C 2010 geo name. I am going to rename this as 2010 sorry as name 2010 so this is this will be the name of the county as it is in 2010 and this one is going to be the name of the state as it is in 2010 this is going to be name in 2000 uh, sorry let's make this 2000 2000 and this is going to be name of the county in 2000 also, this is going to be state in 2000. And now we're performing an outer join between these two. And we're going to join on the state uh, code and also on the county code. I don't need to check the population. And I don't need this part as well. Okay, let's first run this query and see if, if this one works. Hmm. Oh, sorry, we need a full outer join. So, so that was a syntax error. Okay, N now this one works, but here we have thousands of rows, and we only. So, here is an example of what we want. So, this county here existed only in the 2000, but it's no longer in 2010. That's why it's null. The name in 2010 and state in 2010 is null. So we need to filter this after we perform uh, the join. We need to put a WHERE clause here, where 
uh, as long as we can check that the name in 2010 or the name in 2000 is null, we can get all the counties. So name 2010 is null and we're going to use an or name 2000 is null. Oops, sorry. Okay, so I think this one should give us the rows that we want. Hmm. Name. Okay. Ah, okay, so this one uh, we need to use the C two thousand and ten dot geo name and c2000 geo name let's run this yes so this is these are the queries that we want in this case these are the counties because as you can see this uh, for example petersburg census area doesn't uh, wasn't there in 2000 and this one that was in 2000 prince of wales outer let's read this outer Ketchikan uh, census area in Alaska this is no longer in 2010 okay so these are uh, the rows that we want to get from the for this exercise okay I hope that was clear let's continue with the second one I'm going to comment this okay now we need to use the median or the percentile count that we learned in the previous chapter to determine the median of the percent change in county population okay so uh, again we're going uh, the easiest way to do this is to use the query we already have in the book since in the book uh, the author provided a query to compute the percent change in population from 2000 to 2010 okay so I'm going to again copy the same thing and paste it here now when we execute this query let's run this you see we get the percent change here and it's uh, ordered well let's remove this order we don't need that part we're going to do that when we do the percentile okay so we get the percent change now we need to perform a percentile continuous uh, on the percent change but we cannot do it here uh, because we just computed this table so the easiest thing to do is to make this into a, te a temporary table and then we can perform uh, the median or the percentile continuous on that new table okay so we learned about this I think in the third chapter or fourth you can you can check in the book it's very easy to create a temporary table so I am just going to make this select so the result of this select which is this table I'm going to store it into a new table and I'm going uh, to call it let's run the query so it's create a temporary table and I'm going to call this US pop temp and use an as I think this one should work let's try to run this okay this one now let's check if we have created this temporary table I am just going to comment so I don't create it again let's make some space here and I'm going to do a select star from US pop temp okay okay so it's working so now we have this table with a percent change that is really clean and nice and we can perform uh, the US we can perform the percentile continuous to get the median okay so let's do that and uh, I'm going to do select and down here 
I'm going to do um, let's get the geo name and percentile continuous and if you remember we can also uh, let's see how we did the the percentile continuous so I think I have it in chapter 5 so we can do just percentile continuous within uh, a group okay so that's how we find the median so let's just remove geo name here because I think this one would not work so percentile continuous 0.5 and let's make this okay let's make it all capital since we already wrote everything percentile continuous I think a PG admin query tool is making it lowercase and I am just going to make it okay, sorry about that now we're going to do within within group and we're going to do order by since we want to find the percentile uh, the median of percent change we're going to do order by percent change and we're going to take this from us pop temp let's run this great so uh, the percentile so the the median change was 3.2 percent so that was what the uh, exercise was asking for the median of the percent change in county population so the median was uh, 3.2, which is in percentage. Okay, so now when you create, we use this temporary table here. We can drop it, but uh, actually we, even if you don't drop it when you close this session uh, with PostgreSQL, it is automatically dropped. But it's always good to, to do the drop explicitly. And we're going to do that after the third exercise because we're going to use the temporary table there as well okay I'm going to comment this one so that was all for exercise 3 and now we need to find which county had the greatest percentage loss of population between 2000 and 2010 okay so first let's use the temporary table I'm going to do select star from US let's make it again uppercase select star from US pop temp okay so um, right here uh, we have the percentage change so we need to find the greatest percentage loss so we want uh, as you can see some percentages are negative which means that there was population loss between 2000 and uh, 2010 so to do that uh, we just need to find the minimum of the percent uh, change okay so to find the minimum of the percent change is going to be a negative number in this case since there are some negative percent changes we can use min but that would uh, require some aggregate function which are not entirely explained in the book so the easiest solution uh, with what we know so far is we can just order it in uh, descending order sorry in ascending order and we just get the first result because when you order it in ascending order in the first result you will always have uh, so we order it by percentage change so let's do order by okay so let's write this order by percentage change now let's run this and here we have so by default this is in ascending order but we can write it uh, explicitly so here we have the first result is um, the largest percentage change 
and so the the answer to the question is the St. Bernard Parish County had the largest uh, population percentage loss and we can just get this row if we want we can use limit and just limit one we get only one row okay so this is the result this is what the exercise is asking for this is the mini uh, well the minimum or the maximum percentage loss maximum percentage loss means the the minimum because we want to find uh, the largest uh, negative number sorry well yes the uh, the smallest negative number okay and make sure after you finish uh, with the exercises to also write a script drop table and this is us pop temp this is temporary table we don't need it anymore i am going to execute that and we dropped it okay guys so uh, that's it for this video because it were all the exercises in the chapter make sure to check out the book uh, i have also put an amazon affiliate link if you buy it you support the author and you also support the channel since uh, i get something from amazon uh, stay tuned for more videos don't forget to like share subscribe and so this is a way you can learn sql together with me we can solve the uh, exercise together thanks again and i'll see you in the next one bye bye